Coming up on Pick a Puppy, the Armstrongs are on the hunt for another puppy for their fun family. Mom and her youngest daughter get to pick out the newest puppy, but will their family be pleased with what they choose? I'm Beverly Mahood. Now today on Pick a Puppy, we're meeting with the Armstrongs. The family are considering three small breeds today. The Pomeranian, the Brussels Griffon, and the Miniature Schnauzer. So let's see what puppy they choose. So here we are, Armstrong family. This is great. And everybody's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mom, you have something to do with this? I do. <laughs> Can you tell me a bit about your family? Who is everyone? Well, this is Molly, my youngest. Hi. And <laughs> I'm Mom, of course, Sandra. And this is my middle child, Amanda. And my husband, Jeff. And my oldest daughter, Jessica. So you're, you're dog lovers. Oh, yeah. To say the least. <laughs> yes? We do have two dogs. We have mm -hmm. a little Pom Poo named Jelly Bean. And we also have a 15-year-old female dog, Maltese, named Button. Our dogs are very spoilt. <laughs> and I'm sure any other dog coming into the home will be spoilt as well. What makes them spoiled? There's too much love in these girls. <laughs> <laughs> and your 15-year-old Maltese, wow. She acts like a little puppy still, yeah, though. Yeah, she's still a trooper. Very close to all of us. She's been through a lot of history, from the kids starting school to finishing college. But we're looking for another special Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Whose idea was this? Mine. <laughs> really, Molly? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just love puppies. They're so sweet. But it's going to be a family decision. Well, everybody's going to have a, a part in this, right? Absolutely. There's a lot of you, a lot of work schedules, school schedules. Is everybody going to go? Or... Well, that's what we had a meeting about. We came down to Molly and I. We have the most flexible schedule so okay. far. So it's going to be a mother-daughter road trip for us. As a family, we decided on the three breeds we were the most interested in, and it'll be up to these two to uh, go check them out. Now tell me the three breeds you're looking at. Well, I really love the Pomeranians. I fell in love with our dog, Jelly Bean. He's part Pom, part Poodle. What do you like about the Pomeranian? What is I it? just like how they're so puffy, and they have this little walk, and <laughs> they're little fur balls. <laughs> they are. And I'm the Schnauzer fan, Mini Schnauzers. Oh, hello, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> they are the sweetest with their little face and the Eye eyebrows. Yeah, the big long eyelashes. And Jessica has a special pair. Yes, I love the Brussels Griffon. They have like little beards and they kind of look like Ewoks. Really? I don't think noses. I've seen one. They, are they rare? Is there not like a lot They're of really rare? I've They're never rare. seen one in real life, yeah. And what's their personality like? I've heard they're very calm and cuddly. With Buttons being older, she's quite laid she's back. She's really cuddly. So that's what we're looking for, a dog that's got the laid back temperament that won't be too rambunctious. Okay, well, I'm excited for you guys to go on this journey together. OK, well, have fun, you guys, and, and I'll see you at the end. Okay. Looking forward okay, to it. Me too. Thank you. Now, first up, the Armstrong family will be visiting Catherine of Pinecrest Kennel to check out a litter of Pomeranian puppies. Now, these tiny little dogs, often nicknamed Poms, are lively, affectionate, and intelligent. My name's Catherine Ballahood. My kennel name is Pinecrest Kennels. I've been breeding Pomeranians for over 15 years. The best home for a Pomeranian is a home where somebody's with it most of the day. The Pom is happiest that way. Thank you for having us to your kennel. So you're looking for a Pomeranian? We are. And who's this little fella? This is Avis. And Avis is not quite a year and a half. She's under four pounds. We would like to know a little history about it. Pomeranian is bred down originally from a 30-pound dog down oh. to the size that Avis here is. Oh, you're so sweet. Pomeranians originate from a country around Germany that was called Pomerania, bred down from Arctic breeds. So they do like like the cold, they love winter. Hello, Wigglebug. Hello. Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> kisses? No. There's no kisses for you. Hi, there sweetie. You Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, what is the temperament of Pomeranian? Pomeranian, <laughs> they have great temperaments fun loving, outgoing, they love people. They're small, but they are rugged, and they, uh, they do like the cold, they like mm. the snow. What makes you? 
want to have a Pomeranian. They're so funny. They have so much personality. We do have a dog now that's half Pomeranian. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh. We do. He's Pom Poo. And we okay. just fell in love with the mm -hmm. breed. They're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> temperament and the personality is amazing. They're like little powder puffs of love. <laughs> and are they all the same colors or do you have different colors or? This litter does have a couple of different colors in it. Can we see the puppets? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Catherine's really good. She's a really educated breeder, really knows what she's talking about. And Pinecrest Kennel is so beautiful and well maintained. It was really nice to see that. I get up a car. <laughs> I will cry. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. goodness. Oh my oh, gosh. No. They look like. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. They're so cute. <laughs> oh. These two are both girls, actually. But, uh, and those are the boys over there. They're so sweet. Oh no. Oh, he kissed me. They have that little, little puppy puppies smell. always smell like turn up to me. <laughs> You little Good girls. Question. The puppies were so amazing. They were so, so cute. Oh my cry. goodness, when she brought them in, <laughs> four little puffs of fur. They were so adorable. He's so beautiful. How much do they weigh when they're born? Uh, about three ounces. Oh, look. <laughs> you guys just woke up. What do you think would be the best way to integrate the puppy into the family with an older dog? I would introduce the puppy just for little periods at a time until they get used to it. Our Maltese used to try and nurse a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> She's really a mothering yeah. type. Yeah. How many times a day would you take these little ones for a walk? Puppies would get enough exercise in the house. Palms like to be walked, but if you miss a day, they'll be fine. Thank you so much for having us to your kennel. Oh, thank you for we coming. Have a big decision to make, or a little decision. <laughs> <laughs> we have some other breeds we're gonna look at as well. But again, thank you. <laughs> so the palms were adorable, they're really sweet, but we already have one, so we're thinking maybe we'll get something different. Great experience, but we still have two more dogs to see, so we can't make our mind up yet. So this is one time where we can actually say sweet little furball, so, so cute. Stay tuned, because we're just getting started. The family has to see the Brussels Griffon and the miniature Schnauzer. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. <gasps> You're so cute. He's a little girl. It's a girl. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Pick a Puppy. Sandra and Molly are looking for the perfect puppy for their family. First, they saw the tiny little Pomeranian puppies. Now, could one of these adorable pups be their new pet? We won't know until they visit the Brussels Griffon and the miniature Schnauzer. Now, up next, the Armstrongs will be visiting Bruce of Berry Hill Permanent Registered and his litter of Brussels Griffons. Now, these fun toy dogs originated from Belgium. They make excellent companions and love to snuggle. I'm Bruce Owen. I've had Griffons since 1965. They're a very intelligent, sweet, affectionate little dog. They love everybody. Very easy keepers. Just a wonderful little breed. They just can't give you enough love. Welcome to our home and coming to see all our Griffons. Oh, thank the you The Brussels Griffon, us. these wonderful little dogs. They are the sweetest, most affectionate, lovable little dog. What's his name? Well, his registered name is Blue Bay's Illess Irresistible, but <laughs> I call him Winston. And is he a smooth breed or is He's he... rough. He's rough. Smooth. Okay. Uh, are exactly the same except no hair, just like a Boston or a, or a pug, smooth coat. The first time I think I saw a Griffon was in the Jack Nicholson movie. As good as it gets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting tired of all this? They're uh, sweet little dogs. I think I say I've had them since 1965. Yeah. Originally they were a long-nosed breed. They were used in the stables in Belgium for rats and mice. And the Queen of Belgium decided she'd like these cute little dogs even though they had a pointed face. And they started breeding them with English toy spaniels to get this flat face. Ooh. And that's the trademark of this breed is the head. With the Griffon, you want the nose to be set back at a 45 degree angle, fairly large, dark eyes, a nice upsweep to the jaw and a, and a good dome, a nice round skull. You don't want a long pointed face. Can I hold him? <laughs> For sure. He loves everybody. He'll kiss you. <laughs> The temperament is amazing. Very easy to train. Oh, yeah. We have two other little dogs. Do you? We have one that's 15. She's yeah. a Maltese. 
and we Maltese, have a little yeah. palm poo, okay. jelly bean, <laughs> our little baby. Yeah. So how well do they get along with other dogs? They get along fine with other dogs, sometimes a little submissive because they're small, and but they're not afraid of other dogs. They'll back their little behind up and go down, lay down on their back and say, don't pick on me. And we have a little bed on the floor usually, and the cat will be in there, and they'll curl up with the cat in the bed. And, oh, and, they look like the Ewoks from Star Wars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, could I get some kisses too? Yes, I could. <laughs> really love to see the puppies. Okay, we'll get the puppy. So it was great meeting Bruce. Absolutely knows everything about these dogs. You can tell he loves the breed. Very He's easy so to talk to, really educated. My goodness. <gasps> You're so oh, cute. No, one dog. Is it a little girl? It's a girl. That's her name is Molly. So cute, little belly. That coat is almost ready to come out now. That puppy, but uh, look when at people how come... docile these little guys oh. are. <laughs> oh, I love you. So cute. Yeah. It's like a little grouch. Well, you've got it going on uh -huh. with the pout. And they love toys. They love carrying things around. And cutest little face. Oh. She knows she's cute. Can we sit on the floor and play with her a little bit? Okay. okay. I love these little guys. They're like a cross between an Ewok and ZZ Top. I like the lip, how it's like pouted out. <laughs> Let's see how that's No. <laughs> you tired, baby girl? Hey. She like clings to you with her little paws. Yeah, they do, they so hang cute. on. <laughs> yes, you're like a little tiny baby. But they're so affectionate, but they licky little dogs. They love to kiss you and lick you. And well, that's why you get a dog, isn't it? As a companion. Mm -hmm. Could I get some puppy kisses? Oh, oh she's beautiful. Oh, it's going to be so hard to choose. It is. You're so sweet. You might even be cuter than the last one. Well, thank you so much for having us to oh, your you're home. You're very welcome. It's nice meeting you and you. Learning all about <laughs> your wonderful breed. We've learned a lot today. Hi. Bye. <laughs> the temperament was totally different than I thought. So docile. It's going to be a very difficult decision, but... We can do it. We'll figure it out. The interview with the family seems to have turned out very well. They seem to really like the puppy. The puppy seems to like them, and I hope they decide that this is going to be the puppy they want to take home. So cute, and what a sweet little girl, and such a unique face. Molly and Sandra have some hard decisions to make, but first they have to visit one more litter of puppies, and that's the miniature schnauzers. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. Why did you choose the miniature schnauzer? Love the eyebrows. Attract me. <laughs> Wants me my husband, I think. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Pick a Puppy. Now, so far in their search for a puppy, the Armstrongs have checked out the Pomeranians and the Brussels Griffon. Now, both litters of puppies were so small and so, so cute. But we all know it's not over yet because they still have to visit Chris and the litter of miniature schnauzers. Now, these lovable dogs originated from Germany. They're spirited, obedient, have bushy eyebrows, and they're lovely little beards. My name is Chris Michon. I uh, breed miniature schnauzers. I have started breeding miniature schnauzers just over 10 years ago and started enjoying their company. The perfect family would be one who enjoys company of dogs because this dog loves company. This is Mr. Big and he is the grandfather of the children. And why did you call him Mr. Big? Is that after the band? Oh, not after the band at all. He is a chocolate bar. His oh. mother. <laughs> His mother is Candy. Candy with a K, so he's Mr. Big. <laughs> he loves attention. Hello, Mr. Big. Why did you choose the miniature schnauzer? Love the eyebrows. Attract me. <laughs> Reminds me of my husband, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you first start out with uh, breeding? Been with schnauzers for close to 14 years now. Once I had the first litter, I, I never would look back. Their energy is very patient with myself, so when I want to relax, sit on the couch, be calm, they're with me. If you're out there in the yard, they're out there in the yard. Okay, can we hold? Oh, would you mind? Certainly. Mr. Big Boy is a big boy. Oh, he smells so good. You look just like my husband with the gray eyebrows. <laughs> yes, you're just as cute. We do have two other dogs. 
Oh. He's absolutely great with other dogs. When he's out at the uh, park area, he is interacting with Labradors. He plays around. He's salt and pepper this He one? is salt and pepper. Kind of like our family. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love this guy. He's beautiful. Can we see the puppies? Oh, we absolutely. Let puppies. me uh, take Mr. Big. So Chris was great. The schnauzers were so cute. They're my personal favorite, actually. Here they are. Oh. oh. Dylan's a boy. Oh, oh, and this is Flick. Oh, 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 he's so cute. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you got lipstick on your lips. <laughs> so when she brought them out, one was shaved and had the big eyebrows, and one was just curly, and they were so kissy. They're so cuddly and cute. Cuddled up. Read me. <laughs> oh, you're so oh. relaxed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, these guys are good. Oh, they smell like turnips. Are they yappy dogs or are they always as docile? As long as you're having a common environment, they are very protective. So, they, you know, generally if you, someone comes to the house, they'll alert you, they'll bark. No, I wouldn't say they're excessively barky. And about how big do you think these ones would get? About the same as Mr. Big. Can we sit on the floor and oh, play with absolutely. them? Oh, absolutely. They're actually very playful. <laughs> Here's the puppies. This are my puppies. <laughs> oh, look. Hey, Dylan. So cute. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at this one. Yes, Mr. <laughs> Personality. <A> bear. <laughs> do you recommend having them shaved down like Flick? Or? A lot of people do leave them longer. Uh, the only thing would be is a lot of grooming. You'd have to have the day-to-day -day brushing through the whole hair. You're a little angel. Got another one? Oh, oh. There he is. Oh. He's starting to kiss now. He's warming up. Dude, I love the one that was groomed. Oh, I know. I like the other one. They're so sweet. Oh, I know. The curly one was so cute, too. What a decision. I know. Oh, you like a little know. bear. Thank you so much for having us. Yes. Well, it's been a pleasure having you here. <laughs> Chubby Chubs. <laughs> Where's your fox? Where's the fox? So it has been the perfect road trip for my daughter and I, and we have so many decisions to make, so many different things to consider. What delightful little dogs. I just love their little expressive faces. It is going to be a tough decision for the Armstrong family. We'll find out which puppy they picked and why after the break. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. So do I get to see this puppy that you picked? Great! Get her. Okay, go! Welcome back everyone to Pick a Puppy. The Armstrongs are looking for the perfect puppy for their family. They've seen three fantastic toy breeders and their puppies. First the darling little Pomeranians, then the charming Brussels Griffon, and finally the adorable miniature Schnauzers. So what puppy are they going to choose? Let's find out. Okay, so how was it? We amazing. Had so much fun. <laughs> what was amazing about it? The breeders, the puppies, the whole experience was really great. The morning they were leaving, I would go to work. Depressing. <laughs> I wanted to go so bad. But they brought home a lot of good pictures and info, so it made up for it. Very exciting. So they did their job. They did. You yeah. guys did a very good job. <laughs> so Molly, what was it like to go on this road trip with just you and your mom? It's nice because I never really had a chance to, to go with my parents any other time we got a dog because mm -hmm. I was always so little. What certain things did you see, Mom? Well, we both were like so sure. But every time we saw a puppy, we're like, oh, this is it. Then we'd go to the next one. Oh, no, this is okay. it. Okay, so where do we start first? We start off with the Pomeranians. The little heartbreakers. Oh. Why do you say that? I cried when I saw them. <laughs> Why? What's I don't know. I was like so happy. I just started crying. <laughs> and, Dad, what did you think about this? I had to live it through their excitement. You had to break down the excitement to get to the facts of what we're really looking at here. So where do we go next? Next we went to see the Brussels Griffons. Mm-hmm, and that's yours. Oh, yeah. It was okay. Jessica's pick. Like, were you oh, excited? I, I was waiting for them to come home. Oh. <laughs> they would text me pictures of the puppies, yeah. Just amazing, it's such a unique dog. They look like little Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> and then third, we see the Schnauzers. Very, very cute, and Chris, yeah. the breeder, knows her stuff. Yeah. So when it comes down to picking one puppy, it was tough. Incredibly oh, yeah. tough. 
we're arguing more on the name of the dog than on the dog. <laughs> and what was it that made the ultimate decision? Many like nights of going to sleep thinking, OK, this second guessing yourself. I think we all agreed Absolutely. on it, yeah. But I know you made a decision. Yay. I'll go get her. OK, go. Here comes the baby. This is her. Oh my gosh, there's nothing to her. <laughs> no, she's so She's cute. a little light as a feather. <laughs> she's amazing. I mean, I thought that she'd be heavier, in my, oh, but she's just so like a little tiny. fur ball. What was it that made you decide on this, this little girl? Look at the face. Yeah. <laughs> she's just so sweet. And how does she fit in with, with the other? They love her already. So really? Yeah. <laughs> I just love her. I'll give it back to you. No. Here you go. And Dad, what do you think? Was this is this the puppy you thought they'd pick? I think it's an excellent choice. We got a little toy dog. He's cute and cuddly. I can see that. Ball. I can see that. All right, I admit it. <laughs> you can admit I know you're a man, but you like to cuddle too. Well, maybe when no one's home or watching me, I'll cuddle the dog. <laughs> I just hear, oh, she's so cute. She's cute, but there's no name yet. Is there? I think we might go with Pecan. Pecan? Where did Pecan come from? <laughs> well, she's kind of colored like a little nut. She's yeah. definitely crazy like a nut, and she's small like a little nut, too. She's precious. <laughs> yeah, she, she is. is. Right so we can't cuddle and kiss all day. How about we go for a walk? Oh, yeah? Great. Sounds great. Okay. Thanks so much, you guys. Okay. Really love doing this with you. Thank you. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Pick a Puppy. Special thanks to all the breeders and to the Armstrong family for letting us come along this journey with them. To find out more about Pick a Puppy or how you can be a part of our show, visit us at cmt.ca or check us out on Facebook. We love your pictures and the puppy story, so keep them coming. Until next time, I'm Beverly Mahood. Hi, Beth. The Armstrong family with Trixie. Just here to say hello and thank you again to the puppy. We love her and she's fitting in our family.